What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken and Gaz. Today, I have got another package in from the good people over at Umbrella Entertainment, my good friends over in Australia. Heck yes, I am so excited. You know, I already broke into it to see what I got, and I'm very excited uh, about these releases. So I, re I remembered these releases being announced. Um, but when I open it up and I actually saw them, I'm like, man, Umbrella, like they are just really killing it right now. Like I, I've never really been exposed to Umbrella before that video that I did like a month ago where I had the weird and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. They're just doing some of the best work right now in, in terms of packaging. So if you haven't yet uh, dived into Umbrella, dipped your toes into the Umbrella pool, I highly recommend it. I will link all of these down below in the description. Now you're gonna have to import them uh, from Australia unless you can find them on Orbit or Diabolic. I think some of these releases might be on, on those websites as well, but they, they just do great work and they include some cool swag and we're gonna get into all of it. But before we do that, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit that like button. I'm sorry I was so forceful there. Hit the subscribe button now. I didn't mean it like that, okay? If you want to, okay, if you like if you like this channel and you like me and you know if, if what I'm showing off seems cool to you, you know, you can hit the subscribe button, but if you just want to watch this video and then peace out, you're done with me. That's fine, too. I won't, I won't be upset. Probably a little bit upset. Um, then like the video and then, you know, leave me a comment. What do you think of all this stuff? Are you going to get any of these? Let me know in the comment section below. And, uh, yeah, look, guys, I've got, uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I just made a huge mess. Um, so there's a bunch of packing peanuts uh, which, you know, they great job, you know, pack, uh, packing peanuts is old school. You know, everybody packs with, um, you know, plastic bubbles and stuff now, and they wrap in plastic bubbles. Packing peanuts, like, I, I haven't seen these since I was a kid. And I remember, like, big boxes of packing peanuts when I was a kid, and I would be, like, trying to dive in them and stuff. So this is definitely really cool. Uh, not cool that I have to clean them all up off the floor, but that's that's what happens, you know, when you're not paying attention. All right, let's let's uh, let's get into these. I'm going to, look, I'm going to start off with a bang here. Let's put this over here to the side. Let's get into I Saw the Devil. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Look at that artwork right there. That is so sick. I love the red. It looks so good. Um, I Saw the Devil is a South Korean film. I cannot remember the name of the guy that directed this movie. It'll, it'll come to me here in a second when I read his name. Kim Ji Woo directed this movie, and Kim Ji, Kim Ji Kim Ji Woon directed this movie. I don't, I don't want to mispronounce for the people that are extreme I Saw the Devil fans, but I actually watched this movie like five years ago because everybody was talking about it and recommending it. Even though this movie I think came out in 2011, it, it kind of popped off like a few years ago and everybody was talking about it. But this movie like blew my mind when I watched it. Like if you want to talk about violence, um, they, they go for it with I Saw the Devil. Like just escalation after escalation of violence. It's these two guys that are just going to war with each other for the entirety of the film. And it's absolutely spectacular though. It, it's like two and a half hours long and it's a really good freaking movie. Those South Koreans know how to make a movie. I mean, one of them just won Best Picture a few years ago, Parasite. All right, let's get into this box set, guys. This is a big, fat, juicy, uh, scrumptious, dare I say scrumptious box set. If I can get this, if I can get this, pla okay, here we go. If I can get this plastic off. Nice, durable plastic on these as well. And this is like the same material that you'll get with the Aero Video Big Box sets. It's just a really nice packaging, but I really like the way because sometimes with the era videos, like the the artwork just doesn't like pop off of it. I don't know. It, it, there's something about it, but this like I like the material. It's real. Um, it's almost glossy, but not glossy. It's more of like a glossy, like matte finish to it. It's just not as leathery. It's more smooth, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but it's really nice, guys. Like this is super nice. I love it. Um, let me show you the the card on the back. It's not a J card. Doesn't wrap all the way around, but Kind of shows you all the materials in this set. And I'll show you the special features and the specs and, and all that stuff as well. And I don't know if there's any like new special features in this, but damn, this is so nice. All right, let me let me peel this off. And then you got the back of it right there. 
you got that scene. I believe this is in the in the beginning of the film. I don't want to spoil anything about this movie, but it's uh, it's it's a little hard to watch in the beginning. I'll just say that. All right, let's let's get this out of here. Got the inside. Nice work, guys. Just so nice, so nice. So we got evil lives inside. We got a nice little booklet right here, and a collection of interviews, experiences, and arts. Then I'll show you the back, and then I'll. I don't want to show off any like bad images or anything, so we'll kind of flip through it real quick. I'll see if it's safe, but you got some good stuff in here, guys. A nice little, nice little booklet for sure. Nice little booklet. All right, let's uh, let's rip this off. Show off some of these art cards. Bam. Bam. Some of these actors you may recognize. I recognize them, but I'm not exactly sure which movie I recognize them from. Bam. Some cool stuff. Nothing on the back of these art cards either. But this is just such a brutal film. Such a brutal film. Like, But I highly recommend it. It's such a good movie. Such a good movie. All right, let's get into the actual case. So this is a slip cover on this Blu-ray case. And we'll take it out of the slip cover. And then you have the... I imagine that's more the, the classic poster art of I Saw the Devil. I'll zoom in a little bit and show you that. I'm definitely going to watch this really soon. and Because uh, I watched it on streaming the first time, if I remember correctly. I think I actually I think I actually rented it or something off of like Vudu because it wasn't on an actual streaming service. And then I'll show you the discard on the inside. And I believe when you flip this... Okay, so this is the poster that I know right here. You get the uh, the more classic I Saw the Devil poster artwork, which is just fantastic. I love this with the red knife coming down. This is such a good movie, though, guys. Such a good movie. All right, let me show off this poster. This is, like, frame-worthy right here. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. That's freaking awesome, too. It's double-sided. So good. Yeah, so good. This is so cool. I'm so happy with this. So awesome. Um, so I believe this is available though right now. Like I think this came out, I'm actually getting this a little bit late. I think this came out in May. Uh, so you should still be able to get this. I don't know 100% if you'll still be able to get this hard box or not. It, it just depends on how it's sold, but you should definitely still be able to get just the regular, uh, Blu-ray, which this slipcover is nice too. Like it has the, pretty much has the same artwork on the slipcover as it does the, the hard box itself. All right, so I'll get the booklet together. We'll put this back in, and uh, we'll get in, we'll get into some other cool stuff that I got uh, from Umbrella. Let's let's do this Mad Monster Party. <laughs> what is this Mad Monster Party? This looks like a like a stop motion movie. Have you guys heard of this movie? I've never heard of this movie at all. Um, when the retiring monster maker Baron Von Frankenstein, voiced by legendary horror icon Boris Karloff. Okay, what year did this come out? Uh, 1967. Okay, so this looks like, uh, is this Rankin Bass? This might honestly, I'm trying to look, this might honestly be a Rankin Bass. Because that, now that I look at it, like it reminds me of that uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, like Santa Claus is coming to town. Um, you know, kind of, kind of uh, stop motion animation. So, very cool. Oh, yeah, it says it at the top. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Rankin Bass right there at the top. Okay. Uh, but you know what? I, I'll give myself credit because I realized it before I actually read it. So, I knew uh, before, I, before I even knew, you know? All right. I'm trying to take off this plastic. I don't have my cutter down here. I forgot it. So, I'm, I'm using my hands. I'm using my very manly hands, if I might say so myself. All right, let's take this uh, bam, 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 Let's see. I don't know if we got any new special. Okay, so there, it, there's some new stuff in here in terms of special features. I'm going to show it right there. Right there where you see the special features. But you have, uh, this is a 2023 master and correct aspect ratio of 185.1 and also alternate full frame. Uh, new audio commentary with Rick Goldschmidt, historic, historian, biographer for Rankin Bass Studios. New introduction by Rick Goldsmith. Uh, so you have two new features here. You have a new audio commentary and you have a new introduction. And then you got some other featurettes as well. So very cool stuff, guys. I do really want to watch this now. But the artwork on this is just crazy. Insane. Look at those skeletons. That's awesome. In the graveyard. 
That's so freaking cool. Mad Monster Party. Okay, take it out of the slipcover. You got this artwork right here. And you got some more cool stuff on the back. And then we'll show you that disc art. And uh, it doesn't look like it's reversible cover art, but I'll take the disc out and show you. Show you what it's got on the inside. It's got some interior artwork. All right, so yeah, I definitely uh, want to check this one out for sure. You know, being a being a big, I, I'd say I'm a big Rankin Bass fan. You know, at least when I was a kid, I watched all those movies. So I'd be interested to check this uh, check this film out for sure. But let me show you some of the swag I got with the Mad Monster Party. I got a bunch of pins, guys, and I don't know like how much it is to get the pin sets from Umbrella. Uh, I know, I know, if I got these pins from Scream Factory. It would have been like $80 extra. Uh, but it looks like you got, uh, I got three pins right here with some characters in the movie. I'm not going to get them out or nothing, but those are the pins. I also got a, okay, we got a poster here. Double-sided poster. Mad Monster Potty. They, they want a party. And then we got, uh, we got a sticker set. I can't let my daughter get a hold of this. She'll, she'll want to take all the stickers off. But, you know, maybe I'll let her have it. I don't know. Cool. And then we got... Uh, what is this? Okay, this is like a Mad Monster Party magazine. So they kind of got this shape like a magazine, which is super cool. Let me show you what, you got, what they got on the back. Super cool. And again, I'm going to leave links for all this stuff down below. But... Okay, this isn't a magazine. This is just a comic book. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a comic book. All right. Yeah, that's cool. A Mad Monster Party magazine. So yeah, they umbrella guys. They go all out with this stuff. They go all out with this stuff. Pens, stickers, comic books. Just crazy stuff. Awesome. Look at all this. Monster Party. I'm excited to check it out. All right, my last release. And they actually sent me the slipcover separate. Uh, this is a movie called Mad Heidi. Uh, and I got the slipcover right here, and then I got the, the regular release. Let's take the slipcover out. I don't know why they, they separated the two. Um, I don't know if this is like, maybe this is a new line from Umbrella. I'm not 100%, because on the slipcover, it says one. Like it's starting a new line. So this is Monster Fest Presents. Uh, so I wonder if this is a new line from Umbrella. Monster Fest Presents line. That's pretty cool. Bam. Look at that. And I see it's got Casper Van... It's got Rico from uh, from Starship Troopers, which I love. Love Starship Troopers. All right. So, yeah, I haven't checked this one out. The little girl from the Alps is back with a vengeance. Really cool stuff. All right. So, I got the plastic off, and I'll show you the case again. I'll show you the back. And, yeah, this is an umbrella release. Let's see, when did this movie come out? I'm not exactly sure when this one came out. It's hard for me to see uh, the years and everything. Uh, dystopian Switzerland has fallen under the fascist rule of the evil cheese tyrant, President <laughs> Mel, uh, Casper Van Dien. Okay, so Casper Van Dien's the, um, the villain in this movie. Audio commentary with director Johannes Hartman. Um, audio commentary with actors Alice Lucy and Casper Van Dien and director Johanna Sartman. Uh, okay, making of documentary stunt reel. So a lot of good special features, two audio commentaries and uh, a making of documentary. So you can't really beat that, but I'm not familiar with this movie at all. Um, but some really cool artwork. Like I like that artwork right there on that disc. And it doesn't look like it's uh, reversible, but you got some uh, interior artwork right there. So good stuff. I'm definitely curious about this movie. You know, if I watch it and like it, I mean, maybe you could be getting reviews for any of these, like standalone reviews at some point. And I also got a poster right here as well that has uh, the Cheese Man, <laughs> Casper Van Dien's character, the Cheese Man. And then you got uh, this other poster on the back. Some really cool artwork, though. I like this. A Switzerland action horror movie. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. Trying to see if this has any other notable people in it. But I'll put this poster inside of the case. And like I said, really cool that... Uh, I guess this is a new line from Umbrella. Uh, the Monster Fest Presents line. And this is number one in that line. So let me put this in the slipcover. And show it off with the slipcover. 
And yeah, really cool, really cool. So yeah, that's the umbrella uh, stuff. And I think all of these were, I think all of these were May releases. And I know we're halfway through June, but you know, cool stuff, guys. This this is freaking awesome. Like Umbrella is just absolutely killing it right now. They've had some other really cool announcements recently, and I'm excited to get that stuff in as well. But just great stuff coming out of Camp Umbrella right now, uh, physical media wise. So definitely uh, recommend these. I'm gonna check them out. But the ones that I checked out last month, like Weird and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and um, and, and Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I did watch that. Good quality, good special features, packaging's top notch. So Umbrella is really doing great work right now. I highly recommend them. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave me a comment down below, whatever you want to comment. I don't care, guys. I just like it when you comment. Leave me a comment down below. Turn on those bell notifications for all future videos and reviews and follow me on all my social media accounts down below in the description. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Letterboxd, I'm on TikTok. I'm on all the places, Twitter. Follow me down below in the description and we'll see you next time.